This is Lady Maya. Hello, you guys. I am back. Okay, so I have a guest. Her name is Kristen Owens, okay? And so what I want to find out about her because she is a holistic nutritionist and I, I got questions, you know, and I'm pretty sure you do too because you're like, what? <laughs> and some people already know what that is, but you know what? We're going to get more information and we're going to, you know, we're going to get it for, you know, the toddlers situations right here going on because, you know, right now I feel like... <gasps> I don't really know everything, but I want to know. So, you know, definitely um, we are going to talk to her and see what it is about her business and, and what she does that would actually benefit us and, as people and people that want to keep healthy and, and stay alive longer. Yay! <laughs> you guys, please welcome my Mayan tribe. Please welcome Kristen Owen. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Maya, so much for having me. I'm uh, I'm grateful to be here. I love to share my knowledge that, I, as I mentioned to you before we uh, started recording, that I've been in the industry for 26 years. So I live this stuff. And, um, and so I just want to share um, with other people how they can really upgrade their wellness and right. Their life to another level because honestly it always comes back to your health and how you are doing your health so right no i understand completely okay so i got questions mm -hmm. my question is this what made you even get into something like this a holistic uh net what is it N holistic. nutritionist holistic. Yeah. that's that's a hard pill to swallow <laughs> <Unintended>. <laughs> So how did I get in? How did I get in? Well, I, it goes back 26 years. So I have always been active. I started out, I'm going way back here. So I started out as a figure skater. Um, once I, I quit figure skating in high school, um, I grew up in a relatively healthy house, household. My mom, you know, didn't want us eating sugar and wanted to eat a, more vegetables. You know, the stuff everyone knows. Yeah. And um, I, uh, I had cra sugar cravings. I was the sugar queen. And so, you know, my girlfriends would get together in high school and we were not making salads. We were making cakes and brownies and these kind of things. And then we would eat it all. But then we would go to the gym and we would work out like crazy, which I don't agree that's the best way to do it. Eat tons of, you know, foods that are actually going to lead you down more of um, the disease trail because what it does in our body. But then say we're going to exercise to get rid of it all because it's not just about i start i didn't know this at the time but what i teach um, women and and really humans now is that it's not just about the weight it's not just about eating you know foods that are not you know good for us right the sugar mm -hmm. the cookies and all the things that we love it's right. not eating that and going and exercising it off it's what is that doing inside your body and how is that setting you up for disease to thrive in your body because disease is not, it's not inevitable if you have a lifestyle that is set up so that your immune system is working well, so that your, um, you have happy managed weight, right? Because women are so focused on, you know, the scale. Um, it's about, you know, developing a better relationship with food. It's about um, really looking at um, health as and and the food we're eating as how can this make me better and give me energy so once I started uh, um, once I quit skating I then started teaching fitness classes to my friends in the basement of their houses and they're like oh Kristen you should start you should be an instructor and this was back in for those of you um, that are in you know the age group where you remember the 20-minute workout I love the workout right with the leg warmers and the thong and anyways so, um that's what I did. Lot of things. yeah yeah so at 20 years old i at, back in the day i'm in from canada so back in the day it was the ymca i went and got my fitness instructor certification and i started teaching fitness classes and then i went to school for um like fitness and health promotion, kinesiology, that kind of thing. And then, um, and then from there, I started managing uh, fitness facilities for corporate, um, 
corporate facilities in like McDonald's head office, Procter and Gamble. I managed their facilities in Toronto. And so then I had children. See, we're going way back here. Then I had children. I'm fast forwarding it as quick as I can go. Then I was <laughs> 28 and I had my first daughter. And I remember even before that, I remember just being exhausted. I remember my skin was horrible. I was in the health industry.